On today's episode, we arrive at the unique town of Gorwin in New South Wales. We then head to Gadooga for a couple of nights and Kalgoa National Park on our way to Burke. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Peace be the journey. Thanks for your support. Today we've um, just arrived at the area of Grawan. It's another opal area. We've actually camped in the night at the Sheep Yards Inn. Uh, quirky little pub. We'll go there in a minute and have a look. Um, yeah, very interesting place out here. Typical of a mining area. This is what we thought Lightning Ridge would be. So we're only about 60 k's, only a short trip today, about 60 k's from uh, Lightning Ridge out to here. But yeah, no doubt we'll uh, see some interesting things out here um, while we're here. So if you ever watch Outback Opal Hunters on Foxtel, um, we're in Grawin. This is a sheepyard and community war memorial, literally in the middle of nowhere. Obviously like beard there. At the Glengarry Hilton. Did you bring a sticker, Bernie? Did you bring a sticker? Yeah. Oh, people have written on there. Can you stick them in there? Oh, probably over there. Just arrived at the club in the scrub in Grawin. Actually a golf course connected to this. Be stuff though if you hit your ball in the rough because you'd never find it. A lot of dirt roads out here. We actually had to ask a local <laughs> um, how to find the main road because we got lost, surprisingly. Interesting characters out here, for sure. Hang on. Got a library. Apparently this was built by the miners. This club, pub. <laughs> One beer too many, I think. Oh, this is cool. There we go. 
but she must fill up that hopper and then then release. Here we are at the um, sheep yard in at the back. It's just a bit of a junkyard here, all old mining equipment. And this old Toyota here. Got a blade on the front of a shitload of old Holdens here. That'd be worth a fortune. The price they're paying for old Holdens. It's all this um, crap here and, and old trucks. Every truck model you can think of. Internationals. Another Chevy. International. Look at the old double decker bus up the back there. Colbian. Yeah. Old Dodge up there. Another Dodge here. Yeah, she's quite a place. I might just go in and have a look at that. Um, that old double decker bus, if I can. Got some other stuff. There's an old troopy there. And down here, you've got a heap of old Holdens. Just see if we can't go through here. So there's an old double-decker bus. Hmm. Stay away. Okay. I can remember going on one of these in a kit as a kid in Sydney. Bus similar to this. Show me age now. Let's come over here to the old Holdens. There's some of these old Holdens. Looks like a scene out of Mad Max. Look at this thing here. I don't know if that's a a Ute converted into. I think it's a WB. Whether it's converted into a cab or whether it's a wagon that's been cut down and turned into a, um, a ute. Look at all these old Holdens here. Old ute there, wagon, another ute. A couple of sedans, another old WB Holden there. Well, these things would be worth a fortune. This bloke's sitting on a bloody... Yeah, and what's it here? It's old Kingy there. Excavator bucket here. I don't know if you can see that. That's a pretty big bucket. That's me inside of here at the sheep yard. In. Nice old pub. Been a couple of nice old pubs today. There's three of them out here. You can see them in the YouTube vid. Look at all these old trucks. Let's look at this thing here. I don't know what that is. Yeah, there's heaps of old. There's another old international over there. Look at these old things here. Caravans. There's hundreds of caravans out here. And I'd, I'd hate to know how many caravans. Oh, really old caravans. There's a really old back over there. That's pretty cool. Let's see here. Three more tippers. Oh, four more tippers. Direction on that crane truck. It was actually, it's actually a Chevy. Have a go. Look at this. This is the counterweights on the front. Okay. Two big metal things full of concrete. That's, that's like solid metal there. 
Yeah, so that's your counter weight on the old um, Chevy. That's your big uh, mining dump trucks. I found that uh, excavator that bucket belonged to. It's a big Hitachi excavator here. It says X1100. I'd say that's probably. I don't know, that could be a hundred, eleven hundred, or... Yeah, it's probably a, um, eleven hundred ton. No. It's bigger than eleven ton, I don't know what it is. It's a big ass machine, whatever it is. Morning from Grawin, or Grawin, however you pronounce it. Stayed in this free camp last night after the generator stopped at about eight o'clock it was very peaceful not a noise beautiful day we're just going to go to the sheep yard in it's five o'clock somewhere right Peace out. This is the sheep yard in. Pretty good humor here. Hmm. Oh, sugar. Order your meals at the Baha, mate. <laughs> Did you see that? Geez, that's good, Nick. Soldiers' names and their their number, their registration order. Okay. That's all army or service people. Okay. Here's a few tourists trying their luck at opal hunting just in the piles of stuff near the pub guess you never know we'll put some tape. 
Hello everyone. We have arrived at Gaduga this afternoon. We have. Great spot. We're here with about 50 or 60 other caravanners mm. at a free camp at the Artesian Bath, which we are heading to where them lights are over there after we cook our hamburgers for tea. Fire. Made a friend. We've made a friend. She's been here all afternoon. She's gone now. Okay, she's gone wandering. <laughs> she's a local dog. Very friendly, she gives nice cuddles. Having a, oh, no Great Northern tonight. No. Nah. I'm pretty sure that Coke's got something else in it. Just straight Coke. Really? Guaranteed straight Coke. Really? Yeah. Let's try again. <laughs> straight Coke. Let's try again. I uh, just waved the scotch bottle over the <laughs> Yeah, right. Beautiful night. Beautiful night. In a t-shirt and shorts. It's uh, six o'clock. Six o'clock. PM. A very late autumn day. What's today? Thirtieth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Staying here tomorrow so we can um, watch the state of origin. Watch New South Wales get beat. No, don't think so. <laughs> Again. I don't think so. Again. Go the blues. Yeah, righto. Okay, we'll talk to you when we go over to the Artesian Bar. Actually, forgot to say that we left Grawen or Grawen um, this morning. Uh, we always take the dirt roads if we can, which we did. Um, it's actually quicker in kilometres, but took us three times the amount of time. But, yeah, awesome drive. Heaps of um, emus everywhere and pigs. Good Lord. Obviously a very good breeding season for the pigs this year with all the wet out here and the rain and stuff. But, yeah, good trip in. Yeah, so this is the tea. Par four, oh, sorry, hole four, par five, 436 meters. Straight down here. Oh, look out, we've got a couple of fans, or one fan here at least. Sorry about that, that's, that's real funny. Yeah, so that goes uh, yeah, down through here. It's pretty rough. On our way to Burke, we've just stopped into the Kulgoa National Park. Um, it's about 50 k's from Gaduga, where we've stayed the last couple of nights. This is one of the campgrounds here. Nice and clear. There's actually water down here, so I've just come to see if we can find anything. I don't have boots on, so I don't think I'll be walking down there. Because there's bindies and burrs and probably creatures, I'm guessing. But shots and t-shirt on here today. It's absolutely beautiful. Very dry out this way, though. Um, all the dams and the billabongs and the, the rivers and creeks. Got no water in it. Except this one. It's fish in there, I can hear them jumping, rising or whatever they do. Quite a bit of water in there. Gee, she's peaceful. big one and then two medium ones and two and three small ones. Got them confused. 
is now. Looking towards where we're driving. Sarah it takes us. Maybe we should have kept going. Oh, We're not lost. We're exploring. It's 30. Yeah. Eventually we'll get back to the highway. <laughs> kept on driving from that campground and now we're at the Red Bark Hut campground. There is nothing. It's probably the original way, gateway you drive through. There's the old hut over there. Must be a dam just there, but I'm guessing there's probably no water. It's very dry. I'm gonna have a look in the hut. This is the um, Red Bank hut. This is a dam. We'll go over and find out a bit of history in this little cottage here of what. Um, what it is, but the old dam's empty, dry as. We'll just go over the cottage and find out a bit of history about the place. There's a bit of a shot of inside Red Bank Hut. The old veranda's not doing too good. That's the um, boy ants. My front door's seen better days too. It's not a bad little hut, this. It's actually got a floor. That's the old oven. Some old trinkets there, bottles and whatever. You can see that must have had an old calico ceiling. Oh, actually, it's not calico, it looks like old wool bales. I might have wool bales to keep a bit of warmth in it. So they're all pole or tree rafters, tree patterns. I don't think the tin's original, but um, yeah. the old Great Northern Bottle there, I don't think that's original either. I'll just click around and have a look at the lounge room. <laughs> Silly! So how many is there? Six. Six little ones with Dad. Just in case you didn't know. The father looks after the chicks. He sits, sits on the eggs once the, the lady lays them. Lady Emu. He, lady. The lady. The lady Emu. He then sits on there and he does not leave them until they're hatched. Does not eat. Yeah, go to the toilet, nothing. And then he raises them until they leave the nest, uh, until they're old enough to feed for themselves.
On next week's episode, tune in as we arrive to the back of Burke, meaning middle of nowhere. Burke is actually the gateway to the Australian outback of New South Wales. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends and peace be the journey.